Hi, welcome to a new video about electronic reporting. Uh, this video is going to be super useful for you if you are a technical profile and if you are functional, note this. Uh, we are going to see how we can execute by code electronic reportings uh, that we've made custom or standard ones, uh, sending the, those electronic reportings some parameters that could be, for example, the active record of a form or um, a dialogue where you uh, fulfill those parameters, or whatever. So if you functional have a requirement that you need those, send this video to your technical colleague. And if you're a technical, please uh, join me in this video because it's going to be very, very useful. Let's go. Let's say we want to execute uh, one of those three or the three of them <laughs> uh, formats that we've created in, in the series um, electronic reporting from scratch in Excel, TXT and XML. The three of them uses the XML export model. Uh, I probably should change that <laughs> XML um, name, but yeah, it's okay. Um, and so the thing is, by code, we want to uh, send some parameters that are going to be used by the electronic reporting. Okay, let's go to the to the model. In the model, we go to the map mo uh, map model to data source designer. And those user input parameters that we, for example, used for the header ID are the ones that we can, through code, fulfill and send to the electronic reporting uh, format by, uh, for execution. And the other thing that it's the well done thing, it's the, the using the contract. And why this is better? Well, this is better because you are using a data contract object that it's done by development and so you know in both places you know the different options that you can use both in the code and here so everything is like integrated well integrated and it's not like the other way in the other way you have a user input parameter that it's called in this case header id and in the code you call it using the name header ID, so I don't like it. Uh, the only thing you need to know in the code is this contract, that it's the name of uh, this particular instance of the object uh, that we are going to create. So uh, how do we do that? Well, we can, as I was saying, we can call it directly through uh, using the input user parameters so in this case, for example, the input user parameter is the header ID. And what is that model thing? Well, that's basically we need to get the model name that it's going to have in the format. So if we go back to the format. In the format, I don't like it as it is, but well, if you always put the model name here. So you are going to get this name and the, the name of the parameter that basically it's going to be here. Designer, map model to data source, designer, header ID. So basically you put the name of the model that is being used or the name of the model root that it's being used in the format and put that um, like this model and then you put the, the path to the user input parameter here. In this case, it is directly header ID, but if I would put it into a record that it's called parameters, I need it. I would need to put it here like parameters dot header id for example but well um this is what i don't like basically here it's what i don't like of this uh, way of doing it and once you do that you put the well yeah you put the you create the um, er model definition input parameters action and you add the parameters that you want to use 
in your or that you want your electronic reporting model mapping format sorry model mapping to use so you send hey for the model header id i am going to use the the value one and after that it's a matter of using that header id here to filter or whatever and you are going to receive the one that it's um that it's sent here of course this is a bad way to do it because you are supposed to get this from for example an active record or a setup or whatever and you get the um, basically the the format mapping id that it's the rec id of the format that you want to execute i've done it directly with the excel report format blah 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 and that's it you you send the file name <laughs> And it's as simple as that. But the other way of doing it, that it's the way I like the most, is basically using the, the um, basic sys uh, operations framework with a controller, a contract where you put, well, you can put your validations, blah, 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 and you put the information that you want your service to use. So that's uh, I am using the, the model DS name parameters name header ID we're going to understand better this when we see uh, the demo in action and so in the service is, and that's the like the important part we are going to get the information from the contract that's uh, like usual way of using sys operations but we are going to create this um, ER model definition params UI action composite that it's going to receive it this is going to receive where the contract is located in our model mapping and the contract object so this param model DS name it's going to be the model that we were talking before this param parameters DS name is going to be the name of the contract instance in our model mapping electronic reporting and the contract it's going to be the actual control contract buffer that we are going to to receive from the sys operations after that we execute it and that would be it it's very very easy once you know how to do it so what is let's go into detail of those two the par model ds name it's going to be the one that we saw in the format that says model and um, the parm parameters ds name it, that they are called here as uh, i cannot see it okay but the parm parameters ds name is basically this contract that it's an object of the type of the class that we are using as a contract we don't need to necessarily use the same contract that we are using in our sys operations here but we could uh, get the, the contract from the sys operations and create a new instance of a particular contract like for example if we don't want to have here the parm format mapping or the parm um, the parm file name or things like that we might not want to uh, add this extra noise to our electronic reporting so what we can do is use one contract for the sys operations and other, another contract for the for the electronic reporting model mapping and that would be it. let's see how it works let's execute the the controller class this controller class is going to basically do nothing special it's only the usual way of of using that and so we are going to have our different uh, variables in our contract the model as I was saying and the contract that it's the way it's called here so this is going to fulfill that contract with the information we put here for example in the account number and we also can choose what um, format we want to execute of course any format we choose from the ones that we see in the list needs to have that model as called that as like model 
and the um, and the object of the of the data contract needs to be called contract in order to work properly. Uh, what I would probably do is to not allow them to check the format like that, but have it uh, configured somewhere, and that would be uh, transparent for the end user. So we execute, for example, the XML, and we are going to filter it by the two. And this information that it's fulfilled in the contract, we can see that Pepet is created, and it's using the XML format, filtering by the header two. That's isn't that awesome? Let's let's execute now filtering by, for example, D1, um, like this, and let's execute it in uh, Excel, for example, Excel export format, uh, yeah. Okay. And it will get, yeah, it will get the Excel export and it will show the different, like the line for the, for the header one. So that's, that's basically it, and the um, this this example might not be very um, like might not look like very useful, but the power of this is like limitless. You could create your own record, your own reports using Word or business documents, and, and execute them like that. New new rep reports, I mean, or new integrations or whatever thank you and i hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as i did when i uh, recorded it and prepared it for you thanks mm -hmm.